So welcome back to the Ask an Artist podcast, the podcast where we talk to artists about the music business and their journeys in general on how they would like to monetize their craft because we know it's a business. So today we have um, an artist from, I'll let, you tell, I'll let him tell you where he's from, uh, but he's, he basically piqued my interest because of his involvement in a space that I find interesting. It's the crypto space, it's the NFT space, and I feel like I'm always looking for ways to bring people to you that I feel are doing innovative things, people who are early adopters uh, of ways that are, are going to help artists monetize their craft. So today we have Hybrid on the podcast, and I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about himself. So, Hybrid. Hey, what up, people? Hey, Hybrid. Um, I'm from Central African Republic. What else? You know, I'm a musician, <clears throat> rapper, singer, songwriter. I think I used to be a, a fashion designer as well. <laughs> yeah? That's actually... It's crazy. Nice. It's crazy, crazy. But I, I'm... Okay. I haven't stopped though. I haven't stopped. I'm still doing it. Like in all my music videos, like you can, you can see the touch of you know my work in all my music videos. Mm. So yeah, you know, been living in Nairobi for almost four years now. You know, doing my thing, finishing a master's degree, graduating in September. Mm. You know, yeah. Oh, you're doing your master's, yeah. USA? Yeah. Okay. With the fashion, did you discover that before music? No, with music. <laughs> I mean, with music. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because the thing with me is that um. In everything I do, in all my music videos, in everything, because I direct my own music videos. Mm. And then I always want to have a touch of, you know, my own soul in everything I do. I don't want to, like, send a music video to a director and, like, send a song and to a director to and be like, okay, you come up with a concept. Uh, I, don't, I don't do that. Okay. So the fashion thing came with the music. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> what time did you start? When did you start making music? How long have you been doing uh, it? Because I, I checked say, out. Ten years. I can say ten years. Uh. Okay, the thing is, when I started, I started when I was, I think, fourteen. Mm. But when I was fourteen, that was just to impress the ladies. You know how we do it in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you know how we do it in high school. Mm. You know, I created a group, like a rap group. It was called the TS Boys. And then um, the TS Boys. Yeah, the TS okay. Boys. Okay. <laughs> the TS Boys. And then. Um, when I moved, you know, I, I moved from Central African Republic to Ghana in 2014. Mm. I told myself, okay, it's either you do this for real or, you, you know, you just... You just let it go. Like, yeah, just let it go. So I took the decision to do it for real. Mm. And then, you know, that's how you started. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you've been... How long? You, you've said you've been in Kenya four years. Yeah, right? four years, almost four and years. And you've been actively doing it. I remember I went yeah. to your YouTube channel as well. And I think I saw a video of you six years ago. <laughs> rapping like a dormitory, something like that. Yeah, and bro. is there any particular reason you leave those behind? Because I interviewed an artist yeah, and they yeah. gave me a really interesting answer. So I would like to know why it is that you leave up these old videos of you doing it in certain settings that are not exactly aesthetically mm -hmm. appealing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, why do you leave those up? Is there any particular reason? I, I'll leave those up because um, you, don't want, you don't want to live a fake life. That's one. You don't want to live a fake life. That's one. And then because, you know, a lot of artists right now, they want to be politically correct. They want mm. to be, oh, and you know, um, that's how I started. I was, I was always dope and stuff. No, that's a lie, bro. We all know. You start um, from we, we start from, you know, we start from the bosom. Like, some people started with, with them using, you know, um, those flip phones recording themselves. And mm. some, you know, with, you know, messed up cameras and stuff. You're recording so, with a laptop. Yeah, with a laptop. So, yeah. And that video, you saw, that was a laptop. Thing. Mm. <laughs> that yeah, was a laptop. That seems to be a trend as well. Yeah, that was a laptop kind of video. So I want people to actually go. So people actually visit my web, my uh, my YouTube channel. Mm. And I want them to see. That's how it started. Mm. And that's how far, you know, it's come. Yeah. So the, it basically shows the journey. Yeah, it shows the journey. Yeah. And I, that, that's how, you know, I'm proud of myself. So. Yeah, facts, <laughs> facts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so... um. So, now let's talk about monetizing music. Yeah. Because, uh, in fact, before we get into the whole cryptocurrency thing, I know this is why this, these guys have clicked on the video. <laughs> but I want to know, uh, because of the fact that you've mentioned that you've had this drive since you were in Ghana, mm -hmm. and you've been in Kenya four years, so I'm assuming Ghana was before Kenya, right? Yeah, yeah. And now I'm looking at five, six years before. Yeah. What ways have you discovered, um, or what ways have you used to monetize your music since then? Uh, actually, in Ghana, I wasn't monetizing my music. Mm. I wasn't. Like, I think Ghana was just um, kind of experimental for me. <clears throat> and, you know, I, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't a university where 
eighty-five percent of um, the students were Nigerians in mm-hmm. Ghana. Mm-hmm. Some people wanted to introduce me to crypto, like you know, but then it was, I, I think it's just um, I, I think I moved to Ghana with that mentality of Nigerians as being you know a scam and thing, mm. which is not true entirely. Uh, but then I had that in mind, so I was like, ah, even if it's twenty dollars, even mm. if it's fifty dollars, I'm not. You doing are this. doubting. I'm not, yeah, I'm not yeah. doing it. I'm not doing it, which was a mistake. <laughs> which was a big mistake. Mm. Which was a big mistake. So I wasn't monetizing my, my you know, my music back then. You know, mm. I was counting on shows, people inviting yeah. me for shows. Because that, that's the way to money. Were you actually charging for the shows, or it was like just show up? I think the last uh, year, yes, uh, the last year. Yeah, as the, like the last year after three years, yeah, mm. I was. On average, what was what was the what you were, what, what was what you were being paid a show. At the time, what was the? Oh, I, I, I think between. If you can remember, bro, I think honestly it was between thirty and fifty dollars. Uh, this is uh, not bad. People are making zero. <laughs> what do you mean? I swear, man. I swear, uh, I swear. But the thing is, like right now, when I look at the music scene, and then you know how much people can make mm. just by sitting home and uploading music, it's mm. just, it's crazy, man. It's mm. really crazy. It's like you can make a living without even doing the shows. Yeah, without even doing the which shows. Strategy as well, which is. Which is not actually the way I want my music to be. You want to do shows? Yeah, I want to do shows. Yeah. I'm, I'm a performer. Like, you should see me on stage. Mm. I'm a performer. I want to be on stage. I want people to feel my music. Yeah, there is that money aspect. Mm. Mm. But the money aspect comes after the passion. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It's like monetizing your passion. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense that way. So how do you get into cryptocurrency? Um, okay, like I told you, Ghana first. Mm. People were telling me about crypto, but I didn't believe them. Yeah. So, um, after I came in Nairobi, 2019, um, I met Major Static, which is, you know, the, uh, this awesome producer, you know, music engineer that I met. And the guy told me about crypto. Like, he, he was actually the guy who introduced me into crypto. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you know, it was kind of educational. You know, things that actually people pay for, mm-hmm. he was giving it to me for free. You know, just I'm sharing grateful. with you. Yeah, yeah, just sharing with me. Like, bro, do this, do this. This is this is how it's going to go. Mm. He showed me the risk as well. You know, I lost a lot of money into crypto. I'm <laughs> he not going to lie. You that, right? <laughs> You've lost a lot of money. Yeah, well. I, I've yeah. lost a lot of money into crypto. I'm not going to lie. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> but still, I don't regret any, any mm. of this. It's part it's of the journey. It's a learning process. Mm. Yeah, it's that learning process. Mm. Okay. So, one of the main things, maybe we can get to that later, because I was going to talk about how the fact that you've got into NFTs, mm-hmm. cryptocurrency is just one side of, of uh, let's call it the blockchain technology, right? Yeah, yeah. NFTs are another side. Now, um, with NFTs, what was your thought process in getting into that? And were there any particular things you were looking at, like, this is what I want my NFT to communicate? Okay. Like, what was the purpose behind you creating your NFTs to sell? Um, actually, I didn't have any idea about music NFT. Mm-hmm. I was just, like, me doing my thing on, the, you know, on Twitter, on the, you know on um on the internet mm. and then I saw like art NFTs that that was the first thing I saw like people selling art for forty thousand dollars people selling art for fifty thousand dollars I was like that's where okay. the light bulb went to I was like okay is the, is that a way for music mm. and then I came I, I think I came through um OpenSea mm. but OpenSea was charging a lot like it depends on what you're uploading mm. Open OpenSea charges well, OpenSea which is one of the you know the markets mm. on the on the metaverse. So then I was looking for something that is almost free. Mm. Then I came through one. That's Mint Song. Mm. That's one of one of the websites like Mintsong.com, mm. which is uh, one of the marketplaces also as well. For so artists, they, basically. Is music. Yeah, music for music artists, NFTs, yeah? yeah? Mm. Music NFTs. So actually, they let you upload your music. And then when you sell it, they only take 0.5%. So just imagine. It's a good deal. Sounds it's, like a good it's deal. It's a good deal. Are there? Do they put caps on how much you can charge? No, nope. you decide your you own decide price. what you want to do. You decide your own price. You uh. can put fifty thousand dollars. That's and they will allow. Uh. They will allow it. The person is gonna buy it. Uh. Then mid song takes zero point five percent. Okay. Are there gas fees that you pay when you sell no, that? Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, free. Zero completely. Mid song is free. Zero completely. Okay. So you can upload. You can really upload. 100 songs per day that's mm. that's that's up to you how did you handle the art side because i take it an nft even though it's a music nft it has some sort of art to it mm-hmm. what how what was your process going through that what, oh, okay what did you... um i think most people most people go through that um uh i think let me say hurdle mm. 
of working with, uh, let's say, a, a digital creator mm. who is going to do the hard for them. Mm. You see, someone is going to do the hard for them. But me, I was like, okay, bro, you're doing music, right? Mm. You are... So let's, let's not... Let's, you know, for the sake of consistency, just use the same cover like you use on Web2. Because, mm. okay, Web2, for the people uh, watching Web2, is basically YouTube... Um, there's Facebook, a social media platform yeah the social media that's web 2 now mm. web 3 is the you know the metaverse the what we're talking about the NFTs mm. the, um, the cryptocurrencies and stuff okay. so me I was just using the same cover that I use on web 2 mm. for web 3 I think they were trying to convince me to use you know like a digital create and stuff like that so I was like get a professional to do it yeah mm. and I was like mm, this, is, this is not a cost it's not sustainable <laughs> Yeah. Another, no, it's a cost. It's sustainable, yeah. but yeah. it's another cost. Okay. Because if you're working with someone, mm. then you need to pay that someone. Yeah, definitely. But then Min Song made it actually easy. Mm. So let's say you are uh, you are a creator. Uh, you are a digital creator. What you do is that you can actually create an account on Min Song as well. Mm. So when me as a, let's say we work together and I upload my song, I use your art on it. Mm. Min Song, there is a part where Min Song's actually... Um, ask you if you like the 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 hard work is yours or belongs if you to someone, own it yeah or belongs to someone so what Minsung is doing is that the, you can you can select those royalties mm. where you 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 um if you if, let's say you have an account mm. i can you know look for you and mm. then i click on you you as being the um, the art owner mm. and me as being the song owner mm. so when I sell my NFTs, you get your share. A percentage? Yeah. I was okay. being the art owner. And me, I get my share as the music owner. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's interesting how you say that because I use DistroKid to distribute my music okay. personally. And they have this feature where you can split royalties, right? Exactly. Do you use DistroKid yourself? No, I don't. Okay, which one do you use? Bro. <clears throat> like to distribute my, my, to my, 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 my distribution strategy is messed up right now. I, mm. I really want to go back to zero, but I'm using Song Trader. Uh, okay. I'm using Song Trader with distribution, you know, almost everywhere. Okay. On Instagram, TikTok, mm. um, on um, Spotify, mm. on Apple Music. How do, how do they charge? What's their... Uh, they charge, I think, $5 per month. Per, oh, per month? Yeah. Okay. Unlimited songs. On the what? Unlimited songs. Unlimited songs, songs per yeah. month. Yeah. Now, let me, let me just put you on to DistroKid. Maybe, I don't know if you've heard about it, but for DistroKid, you pay a solid fee, which is about, I think, 20, it's between 15 and $20 mm -hmm. per year, mm -hmm. and you release unlimited, whether you're releasing singles, albums, whatever it is, EPs, okay. unlimited the whole year. Yeah. So that's just the lower tier, that's the smallest tier which I, I'm paying for. So in case All you're right. thinking of you know, exploring it, yeah, 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 it can be something, yeah. you know, something you can check out. It's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. So basically what I'm hearing from Mint Songs is the same strategy whereby you can, um, you upload your, your NFT, say you're, okay, maybe let me ask, say you're featuring another artist, yeah. right? Would you be able to give them royalties as well if they have an account on Mint Songs? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that is, that is <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, you can split, you can split all those royalties. Yeah. Like you, the guy, like the guy you're featuring gets mm. his, his part and you get your own. Yeah, that's, that's dope. Yeah. I should actually get on that myself. Bro, you should. You should. Yeah. Now, um, one thing I want to know is because people are usually skeptical when it comes to cryptocurrency. Yeah. I'm sure you've experienced <laughs> that, right? So how do you uh, get your funds involved in this, right? For example, um, you find that funds do not really want to adopt new things. Yeah, yeah that's right? true. How do you get them to know, okay, how, this is how you purchase uh, using Ethereum or whatever, whatever a cryptocurrency is used on Mint Songs. Which cryptocurrency? Um, by the way, it's actually it's on a Matic. It's on a, the Polygon blockchain. Uh, okay. It's on the Polygon blockchain, so okay. it's um W E. It's mm. same, the same value of Ethereum, but it's mm. W E. It's a wrapped E. Okay. So um, let me be honest with you. Mm. People who are actually on the Web two are not interested to go on the Web three mm. because. The moment they hear about crypto, okay, it has to do with crypto. The moment yeah. they hear it as a crypto, yeah. like people be like, oh, Scams. they're thinking of, <laughs> I'm going to lose my money and stuff. So yeah. for me, it's actually, yeah, it's kind of making a new fan base. Mm. So it's just like you moving from Earth to Mars. Go there and make a new fan base. Mm. Don't, don't, actually, don't actually be thinking that. I need um, to move my fan I need base. to move my fan from Earth to Mars. It's mm. not going to work. Mm. Unless they are already traveling from her to Mars, then mm. you have, you know, you have that kind of, um, a kind of opportunity to, um,
let's say, bring them along. Mm. But, and there is one thing I've observed, bro. To be honest with you, people on the Web 3 mm. are more helpful than people on the Web 2. Like the, the, the Can day you share I, an experience that has made you feel that way? Because that's a sentiment. I uploaded, bro. I'll, yeah. I've been uploading songs, like videos, freestyles, everything. Through yeah. mean songs? No, no, no. no. I'm, uh, I'm talking about uh, Twitter. Uh, okay. I've been doing this. Mm. And I get two, three likes, mm. four likes. One retweet once in a while? Yeah, bro. <laughs> but the, the day I actually got into music NFTs, mm. I can get 10 likes from people. Actually, it's not only likes, bro. People mm. actually share, people retweet your things mm. on the Web3. It's The love is different. I don't know why, but the love is different. Mm. Um, I think it's maybe because um, we all get involved into the same thing, and it's a learning process. And they kind of see someone else who has just come there like, okay, let me support yeah, this Yeah, it's a learning process. We, you know that, okay, today I'm uploading this, and, you know... Someone might buy it and then the guy is, is helping you because he's like, okay, me too, I'm doing something. So mm. it's like we need each other. Mm. It's an ecosystem. Yeah, but on Web 2, mm. it's just like, I don't need you. You need me. So I can give you my support when, when I, whenever I want. I can give if you I want I don't, to. If I want to. So mm. that's, that, that's, you see, that's it. So the love is different. Mm. It's very different. Wow. Well. Okay. It's crazy, bro. I, it's like two different... Because I, I, I come in with a mentality that <laughs> um, with Web3, you would need... Okay, with the metaverse, we're selling NFTs, you would need to have a certain fan base or, you know, a certain type of following, at least people listening to your music. Mm -hmm. So I came in assuming maybe you have, you know, a certain level of clout. Yeah. But you saying this has kind of changed my perspective on that as well. And yeah. I want to know, would you agree with that statement? Do you need to be someone to sell an NFT? You know, someone you know, in the music industry. You don't, you don't uh, need to be someone. Mm. You see, that's, that's, that's why we have those... Um, uh, uh, people on the metaverse, they have spaces on Twitter. Mm. Like, if you are if you're interested in cryptocurrencies and whatever, if mm. you go on Twitter, you will see spaces. You, like, it's actually live. Yeah, Twitter like, spaces. Twitter, Twitter yeah. spaces mm. every day. Every day. We have people having lives every day. Like, spaces every day. Mm. Every day. Is that a strategy you've employed yourself? Like getting into those spaces to promote yourself? Or what's uh, that like? Oh, okay. Um, talking about that, mm. there, is, there is another thing. Actually, the, um, the only way I've been able to actually sell my NFTs, mm. it's through um, Fill My Flow. There, there, is, there, there is this thing called Fill My Flow. It's actually, um, it's been created by, um, I think, people from the US and people from South Africa. Mm. It's a tech company, actually. It's a tech company. Feel my flow. Feel my flow. Okay. And then right now, they have a goal to buy 100 NFTs. Mm. Music NFTs. Music NFTs. Okay. It's like, so they do it per week. It's mm. like, it's, and it's sort of a competition. And they are the ones who are, who've been buying like uh, most of my NFTs. Mm. I think I've sold four or five with them already. Mm. Let's talk a little more about that as yeah. well, because... I remember off camera we had just touched a bit on that. Now I want you yeah. to tell us because people are going to be asking, buy my NFTs, <clears throat> buy my music. They're yeah, thinking yeah. they are royalties. Oh my God, I can't <laughs> give up ownership. And you know how today people don't want to even be involved I in selling swear, their bro. masters, right? So maybe yeah. you can let our audience know what exactly you mean by buying your music in this sense. Okay, the, the difference, the difference between this and then um, let's say uh, a record label mm. is that. You keep all your royalties. You, they don't. They don't take your ownership. No, mm. they only buy the music, like the music per se. Mm. It's like someone buying your music on app on you know Apple Music. Uh, it's the same. Okay. They don't. They, they, they don't, don't own it. They don't own yeah, it. Yeah, but they can listen to it whenever they want. Yes, whenever they want, mm. they can share it. But then at the end of the day, you still have your ownership. You still have your all your royalties, mm. and then. Um, uh, the good thing about that mm. is that it's actually because I call I call them my feel my flow family because they have been really supportive. Like mm. let me be honest with you, um, sometimes uh, the I think the last time I talked with them that was last week Tuesday. Mm. Um, How do you talk? I won the like competition. By the way, last no, mm. no, no 
on the space. Okay, okay. Space, Twitter space. Mm. Last week, I won, I won um, uh, the, the Firma Flow competition. Mm. So they bought one of my NFTs last week. How much did they buy it? 0.05 ETH, which at that time was around 77 US dollars. Okay. Yeah, 77 US dollars. And then I submitted one yesterday. Mm. So today, Tuesday, we're having another... Um, we're having another space, mm. and I'm co-hosting. Because if you win, you co-host the next yeah. week. You come in and speak in the Twitter yeah, space. Yeah, you come in and speak. You know, they uh. ask you questions like, you know, where do you see yourself? Uh. And is it are, are these songs that you're submitting, are these songs you already released or they are new content? No. It could be songs already released mm. or new content. That depends on you. Mm. That's all. It all depends on you. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's your decision to make. Okay, now... Because that's, that's also interesting for me because you spoke of Twitter space. I haven't heard you mention any other social media platform. So <laughs> is it safe for me to assume that um, Twitter is the best place for people who are trying to get involved with music NFTs? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Definitely the best. Mm. Definitely the best. Because that's where people actually, um, uh, people who are involved into music NFTs have their, their spaces. Mm. You know, it's really, it's really about the education thing. Because you can come you can come and just listen. Mm. You don't have to get involved like the first time you, you know, you sign in. No, just mm. come and listen. Yeah, you get, don't need to say anything. Yeah, get the, the information, get the education. And mm. then maybe you can... The good thing about them is that you can text them and they reply to you. Mm. It, it's not like... Um, there's no way I'm going to text um, Universal Music and they're, gonna and they're going to reply. reply. It's, it's not happening. But here people are a community. It's a community, bro. Mm. That's a, it's a family. Mm. Yeah. Feel my flow family. Feel my flow. You can go on Twitter, feel yeah. my flow. Mm. We have a space today, um, 8 p.m. EAT. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then you mentioned earlier Discord as well when you were talking <laughs> off camera with, yeah, yeah, yeah. with uh, Static. It's, you it's, mentioned uh, that. That's, that's what I was saying. It's, it's, it's a whole process, bro. Because uh. the NFT... I think that's why a lot of people are actually kind of reluctant. They don't want to get involved. There is a bit of work to it, like they, a learning curve. Huh? Yeah, bro. There's a bit of work. So the Discord, it's like, let me say, it's like a WhatsApp, WhatsApp group. Mm. <laughs> Let's say it's a WhatsApp group. For the people that don't understand what Discord is. Yeah, yeah. it's like a WhatsApp group. But the, the good thing about this now is that Discord, it's an app mm. where... You can create whatever you want and then have a channel on the Discord. Mm. That's your channel. So me, let's say I sign up and let's say Major Static has its own channel on the Discord mm. and I can sign up for your channel, Major Static's channel, other people's channels, different channels, but still on the Discord. Mm. And then you get that information. And the good thing about the Discord now is that the information on the Discord is not... Um, it's not mixed. Mm. Like on your on your channel on the Discord, what you can do is have different sub channels mm. where you let's say you say this is for artist communication only, this is for artist submissions only. Mm. And there are some restricted channels, sub channels as well, where let's say me as a guest, I cannot speak. Yeah, you need to be a member or you something need to be like a that. Yeah, mm. I cannot speak. Or some are just info. Mm. Some are just info. So it's it's really um the Discord is really helpful, but then you need to know how to navigate through that, mm. and then um and then what else? Um, you need to navigate through that and then get that information. Even YouTube helps with that. You can go on YouTube how to use the Discord. Yeah, people talk about it. Yeah, people talk about it. Yeah. People talk about it. You can go on YouTube and get that information. Mm. It's out there. And then uh, it depends. Like feel my flow. You can still go on YouTube check. Mm. Okay, feel my flow. How does it work? You still have that information. You still have that education. It's it's free. Mm. Anyway. How uh, would you say? You know, we are going to just be off a little bit because we've started talking about Discord. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear what your opinion would be if, you know, what your opinion is mm. uh, in regard to Discord for artists. How do you think? Do you see it as a way for artists to uh, connect with their audience in yeah. a way? Because what I'm hearing Definitely. is it's kind of like a WhatsApp and Instagram married, but on steroids as well. It's like yeah. there's a lot you can do with that. Yes, definitely because. Uh, Let's say I'm on Fear My Flow. Mm. Uh, I'm on Fear My Flow Discord. And someone submits a song. Because they have that sub-channel, like, artist submission. Mm. Someone submits a song. I can come and listen. I just click on the link. The link takes me to whatever the music is. Mm. And then I listen to the music. Okay. I listen to the music. Oh, yeah, this guy is actually dope. Okay. Let me maybe, you know, now try to 
you know, DM him, yeah. DM connect him, with him, connect with him, and mm. it's it's actually easy, mm. very easy. I think it's it's a, it's another way for artists to actually connect. Mm. But then you need to. I I think that's another that's another big topic for for people who actually really want to get yeah. involved into that. Because for Discord, mm. it doesn't have to be crypto. It can be anything. Anything. It doesn't right. have to be crypto. Let's say I create a Discord and then, um, what else? what. Let's say I'm a beat maker, mm. and then I created Discord, and then it's for people who love beat making, people who want to learn about beat making, mm. and then we just come together. And you because talk, the, eh? Yeah, we talk. <coughs> because the, the, the good thing about Discord, like I said, those sub, mm. um, sub channels, it's, it's not the same thing with WhatsApp. Mm. It's a, you see, WhatsApp is so mixed up, because let's say you add 200 people into WhatsApp group, bro, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Let's We've say 200 people texting right. at the same time. <laughs> like, you want to know something, it's yeah. past like 100 messages exactly. up there. Exactly. Uh, you know, it's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, it's a good idea for artists as well. Yeah. Are there, are there any artists who have been selling NFTs that you would say are kind of your guiding light when it comes to selling your NFTs? Or even in the future, if you're looking yeah. at artists and you're like, okay, I like how this artist has sold their NFT. Are there artists you follow like that and you're like, I want to emulate what they're doing? Or I want to... Kind of, because you know, success leaves um, yeah, yeah, clues, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> so, are there artists like that for you? I'm. Uh, let me say, okay, I haven't really thought about that, mm. but I think if I have to, like, um, look up to someone, I think maybe Snoop Dogg, because mm. the moment I think the moment he bought Death Row, mm. whew, the the music he like he unleashed on Open Sea was mm. crazy, and people were buying it. Bro, music costing three thousand dollars. Straight, people, those are, people buying those are goals right there. Bro, people buying it, mm. and I think I got into uh, I don't know if I should say this. I got into a, an argument with Octopizo. Mm. <laughs> I it wasn't my intention. Mm. It wasn't my intention at all mm. to go into the argument with him. He was talking about him selling NFTs, and you see the thing with me is that I'm not a fanatic, bro. I'm not. Mm. If you're doing something, I'm like, yeah, bro, okay, good. But if you're not the first to do it, I'm not gonna you give just you. Say I'm not gonna, like, yeah, I'm not gonna give you that flower for nothing. No, it's it doesn't make any sense. So, keeping it real the whole yeah, way. keeping it real. So on Twitter, um, I think Octopizo's last album, mm. he released it on on um like you know as NFTs. Mm. So people, you know, fans, fanatics. They were like, oh, you know, you're the first one doing this and this. I came, I was like, no, bro, he's not the first one doing it. People have been doing this for ages. Mm. Like, for us, just like we are learning it now, bro, people came on me, man. Yeah, people came people, for you. Woo, okay. woo, 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 woo. <laughs> when was this? Um, this was recent? Recent, man. Uh. This year. I'm, I'm talking about this year, bro. Mm. People came for me. And then, you know, fanatics. They don't want to... They, they don't use logic. Facts don't work. There. No, fact don't work for them. Mm. And then actually, I thought maybe, okay, this is, you know, this is just like the fans doing their thing. And then after that, the next day, boom, Octopizo tweeting. Like, uh, replying to my tweet. And then he says, oh, Loki. I think it is like it. That was Swahili. Mm. But it, and then I, had to, I had to Google it. I had to translate it. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like... Google Translate. Yeah, he was like... So low key, we have haters out there. Mm. I'm like, who is hating on you, bro? Like, how? I'm mm. speaking facts. And this is one of the things I hate with artists. Like, when they know a lot of people are following them, mm. they use that as leverage, like as power to control. But it's actually for you to educate your friends. Mm. It's actually for you, up to you to educate your friends. Like, tell let them. Let them know. Let like, them know. This like, information is out there. Yeah, this information <clears throat> is out there. Actually, you can do it. Mm. But they don't be like, oh, I'm the first one to do it and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, you're not, bro. Mm. You're not. And that, I think, at that time, I already had music on open on, on mid songs. Mm. So you were one of the artists who had already done it before. Yeah, for me, it's just like, no, bro. Don't give, don't give him flowers just because he's known. No, it doesn't mm. make any sense. Makes sense, though. Now, question I would like to ask you is, do you want that included in the video? Bro, do, do you it. mind? I do it? <laughs> do it, bro. Uh, no problem. We'll do it. <laughs> all the source. All the source. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, okay. So, what other platforms? Because I was doing my research and I mm -hmm. found, for example, you know those link in bio um, platforms? Yeah. Like, for example, Linktree mm -hmm. or Koji. Koji has 
um, a way for artists to actually turn their songs into NFTs mm -hmm. to sell. Now, how do you do that uh, through your links? Do you do that actually in your in your bio? Like, do you sell your NFTs through your Honestly. bio on Twitter or anything? No, I okay. don't. Mm. The, okay, the reason I think I don't is because, okay, honestly, I've never, I've, I haven't thought about it. Mm. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> you've, been, you've been sticking to this new audience that you're yeah, creating. This, huh? Yeah, this Twitter audience that mm. I'm creating. Because, bro, the, I'm, like, I'm telling you, the love is mad. Mm. The love is mad on Twitter. And then, um, I haven't thought about it on, let's say, Instagram. Because mm. I think Instagram is the best way to use the link, you know. Um, yeah, link and then people clean, 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 clean on the link. Because me, the only link I use on my Instagram mm. is when I come up with a new song. And then just I post it up, there. Yeah. Uh, that's the yeah. only time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but there, there are different ways, I feel, because even me, I'm just, I'm just learning. The fact that I was going to interview you, I had to do my research. Yeah. I had to find things out as well to, right, to be able to have go, a conversation that's with you. That's the way to go, bro. You know? So, personally, when I had, it was, it was starting to go, actually, I told him, I was like, yo, uh, I know this artist, Hybrid, he has mm. sold an NFT. I was, I was mind blown because... The only things I'd heard of about NFTs were with big artists, yeah. right? So you telling me that there's this whole audience of people who don't even care about the fact that you have clout, yeah. or they don't they don't care about it. They're just trying to see each other grow. They want to support. They are hoarders. People yeah. who just like to collect stuff. Yeah, it's. I think that's a that's a that's a shining light for artists out there as well, right? So. The pointers that I would say maybe you can pick up from this podcast yeah. is you do not need to have a large. You fan don't. Base. You don't need on on. On the metaverse, you don't need to, because mm. people discover projects easily. And let me let me tell you some. Some people are twenty seven, twenty four seven in front of their that's what they're doing. Labs. Yeah, uh. just to look for new gems. That's mm. what they call it, new gems to see. Okay, this is gonna be next. Mm. An but investment. I, it, yeah, it's it, it makes sense if you're already let me say famous, mm. because like people like Snoop Dogs are ah, who else? Who else is on the metaverse? I don't know. He's Snoop Dogg. There's Tory of, Lanez. Oh, bro. You know, I missed, <laughs> I missed, I missed Tory Lanez NFTs, bro. You wanted to purchase? I remember I was selling like at a dollar or something. And people were saying, now there's some people I found out where he sold at $700, $500. And the next week it was $34,000 for bro, his Bro, not fans. even seven. Crazy. $10. $10. He was selling $10. And then he $10. makes like a million. $10. And then he's making ten million like that. Ten dollars. People are actually reselling them. <laughs> yeah. Seventy dollars. Seventy thousand dollars. I'm like, I mean, how did I miss still. this? Way? Yeah. <laughs> but it was, you know, it's part of you know. It's uh, his way of giving back as well. Yeah. I, I guess now you're you're tapped in. You're like, if Tory Lanez drops something. Oh, I'm on it. I'm tapped in. Exactly. <laughs> I'm on it, bro. Exactly. I'm on it. I feel like it's a way for artists to give back to their fans because mm -hmm. as you grow as well, let's say the people have bought your NFTs, yeah. right? They are like, oh, I've bought, I've purchased, I've believed in hybrid. When hybrid becomes that person, becomes I'm selling that NFT. That person will be like, Ooh. this NFT is worth how much? That name is not talking to anyone because that's an investment <laughs> in the pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So how many NFTs would you say you've sold? I think six or six or six or five. Six or five, huh? Yeah. Okay. And each was around because the, the the seventy was with the uh, music NFTs, right? Um, Those are the yeah, but okay. Uh, with feel feel my feel flow, my that was feel my flow. So four on, actually four or three with feel my flow. With feel my flow. The first one, let me be honest with you. The first one, I don't know who bought it. Mm. It was a random person who was just yeah, like, cause I, like I, this. I uploaded it mm. and then I was like, when I think a week after mm. on me, I logged in and I was like, I, I saw sold out. I was like, okay. Now how I many? How many? Out. How many did you mean? I mean, on, uh, that edition, one was when? One of one. One edition. That okay. was one edition. Mm. And I regretted it. <laughs> you should have made many. Uh, no, no, no. It was about the price. Uh, how much? Because I sold it at 0 0.03. That's about how much in dollars? Oh, at that time, I think it wasn't that much. At the mm. time, it was like maybe $50. $50. But then at that time, 0 0.05, it was 150 dollars so you feel like you could have priced it at 0 0.05. Exactly. So I was like, yeah, it's, it's part of the experience. You but I don't know who bought line. it. Mm. I don't know who bought it. I was like, mm, yeah, good, take it. There's someone out there who's about to be rich. He's <laughs> about to be rich. I'm telling you, though. Yeah, because um, you keep pushing as well. You've been doing Tech Back the Mic. You mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Tell us about that. What, what, what's that experience like as we close this? Oh, bro, Tech Back the Mic. I think... Okay, let me say... I think I'm, today I'm here for... You and for me as well. Mm. Yes, no problem. <laughs> so take back the mic. It's like me. Shameless plug. So um, uh, I'm doing take back the mic. Uh, I made it to the semifinals. Mm. So we had three from Kenya. 
for, for the semifinals and then other 27. Congratulations. Thank you, bro. So other 27 in other countries, other nine different African countries. Mm. So um, the take back the mic, it's basically an app. So you can go through your you can go to your app store or your play store. You download the take back the mic app. And then what you do is that you create an account. It's a must. You need to create an account. You need to create an account. You need to download the app. Mm. You create an account. Um, once you're set, you look for hybrid. Simple, look for hybrid. You follow me. And then the take back the mic, the whole concept is actually giving points to your to the artist you're supporting. Mm. So for you to give points to the artist you're following, uh, you're supporting, once you are on my, on my profile on the app, you scroll down, all the way down, you'll see a video section, a section called video. Mm. So, you can comment, you can add comments, you get to comment five times a day. When I say five times, like, one comment per video. I have, bro, I don't so know. So, you can't I don't comment even know more how than many once on a video? No. Or you've been posting. Yeah, like I don't crazy. know, I don't even know how many videos <laughs> I have on that app. That's that work, bro. Yeah. So, you add one comment per video. Five different videos per day. Mm. That's bonus points. And then when you watch, when you watch my content, when you watch my videos, I get point as well. Mm. Don't forget, you get point as well. And then the beauty of the thing, the beauty of the whole competition is that at the end of it, if I win, I get the the biggest prize. But you, as the fan, if you are... Who supported so, you like that. Yeah. Mm. But it depends about that. But I didn't, bro, let me be honest with you. I want my fans to be, like, one of my fans to be, like, the best fan. If you are the best fan, you get a full, like, a fully paid for trip for two. Mm. For Ooh. two. As the best fan. One. Yeah, bro. As the best fan. Me, if I win, mm. as, you know, as the, um, as the win at the end of the day, I get $25,000. Plus, you know, the, um, a trip for two. Okay. Now, the next prize goes to the the, um, the fans' best artist. Mm. You get $10,000. That's it. The fans' best artist. Yeah. Okay, so the fans' best artist is, is different from the artist that wins the 25000 Yeah. Okay, so is it like second runners-up, you would say? Let's say, yeah. Let's say or runners-up, rather. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's say that. Let's say that, yeah. Hey, 10000 not bad to be runners-up. I wouldn't yeah, It's not bad, that. but I'm going for the big... Yeah. The big... Hey, I'm going for the big prize, yeah, bro. So. <laughs> I mean, you're not playing to be second, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you out there, go look for that. Um, the, uh, download that app. You know, mm. just follow the steps. Easy. Create an account. Look for hybrid. Uh, when you find me, follow me. Scroll down on my profile. Uh, you find the video section. You comment. You add comments to um, five different videos per day. It, it takes, I think, two, three minutes per day. Mm. And that's it. You're just done. Just to support your audience. Yeah. Yeah. So just keep the app, and that's how it's gonna go. How it's gonna, how it's gonna go. Mm. Semi-finals happening in September. Okay, okay. Yeah. So um, if people want to find you on social media, that is, Andrew, give us YouTube, Instagram, and uh, Twitter. Okay, well, everything. Hybrid you? two three six. Hybrid two three six. Two three six is the code of uh, Central African Republic. All right. Where I'm from. Always repping. Always Hybrid repping. two three six. Okay. <laughs> So that is everywhere. Yeah. And thank you for tuning in. If you've reached this far, you cannot not subscribe. <laughs> I mean, the red button is right there. Definitely. Do it. And go and support my guy, Hybrid. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're out. <laughs>